Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Anthony. Also, as you know, and all my social media platforms, the real Anthony. Hi, welcome. If you're new, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for clicking on it, and also leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel so you guys can see more of this. This the story I'm about to tell you. So. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna just cut straight into the chase. So full disclaimer before I say anything else. If you guys are younger and you guys are getting bullied, picked on, or someone that someone else is um, physically harming you, seek out help from someone else. A teacher, a guidance counselor, a trusted adult to help you solve that issue and help you keep you safe. I'm gonna tell you my experience with bullies and my fighting stories. Back when I was younger, I used to have really bad anger issues. I mean, extremely bad anger issues, like very pitch of the line bad anger issues. When everyone, when anyone would make fun of me, they'll be making fun of me because I will always get mad. And they'll always be like, he's always screaming like a little girl. He's always screaming, he's always loud. Why is he always screaming? He's a little girl, whatever. Little didn't know I'm a little girl. Now, so when I was in school, I used to have these two brothers pick on me all the time. Um, they would grab my hat and they would throw it on the floor. They would grab my hat, they would throw it anywhere they can just to make fun of me. There was just one time, during this time, it was during summer, it was very hot out. So my mom gave me the permission to walk home, and walk home from school and walk to school. So I was walking home from school and these kids, the brothers with their friends started following me and my neighbors. These kids grabbed my hat, the brothers, and they threw it under the car, and I got really dirty, it was a white hat, so I got really, really, really mad, and I turned around and I shoved the brother down to the floor, and then the other brother comes punching me right here, he was literally right here, and I'm not paying attention to him, he comes punching me, swinging, boom, 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 so I fall down to the floor, and then the other brother comes up, and they're both swinging on me, Thank God that my friends and my neighbors were there because walking home with me because if it wasn't for them, I think I would get really beat up, beat up. I went home that day and my neighbors told my mom everything. I was too mad to talk to anybody. I just wanted to fight everything and hit everything in my way. And my mom noticed that and she was like, you want to fight? Go to school tomorrow and to come over to the house tomorrow. And I was like, um, I don't speak Spanish, mom. But look, at that time, my neighbors that I walked with me spoke Spanish and English. So... They went and told those brothers to come and fight again. So, my mom has always been the type of person. My mom is, I'm not going to say ghetto, but my mom is real. My mom is from the hood. She don't care. My mom is, you're going to fight, you're going to fight. Always defend yourself. I don't care what anyone says. You're in school, you, if someone wants to pick on you and fight you, you fight. You defend yourself. Period, Anthony. That's it. Listen, girl. So, my mom had us literally fighting in the back so this is how it worked where i used to live on that old apartment building so i had my next door neighbors and that there was two buildings together put together two apartment buildings put together then our two apartment buildings put together then there was another a third apartment building put together and then the fourth one so it made a little l and then we had a big wall behind us which we had to park in and the parking lot was behind us so it was really secluded so there was no interrupting by cops and no one who didn't want us to fight or didn't want to see if it was gonna stop a fight so listen we fighting i he's saying a whole bunch of words in spanish at this point i don't know any spanish when i was at that age so i just didn't talk i just kept swinging so at one point he got me on the floor swinging on me then i get on him on the floor and then swinging on him literally like how can I explain it? Like when cats fight each other, they go on top of each other and they keep rolling. That's exactly what happened. Boy, that's exactly what happened. So they picked up the fight. They stopped us and they wanted us to do it again. And my, we all noticed that his hand, there was something here. Because he had a hoodie on and he had his fist covered with the sleeve of the hoodie. And I didn't notice that there was something under there. No one knew that there was something under there. So we're fighting and then at one point he grabs me in a headlock. And he grabs the stick that's inside the sleeve, right here, and he starts jacking it inside my face. He's hitting it. And my mom just sees something brown. Everyone sees something brown, and I'm screaming, ah! And my mom's like, don't scream! Keep fighting! Keep fighting! All you hear is my cousin in the background, get out of there, Anthony! Get out of there, Anthony! 
and all my neighbors are like, oh my god, stop, you have to stick. Because my mom and my my cousin ain't there. They're not in the circle, they're on the porch. And they're literally there just watching us, like if it's a movie and they're eating popcorn. Like if it's a boxing show. Oh my god. So, I'm over here in my head like, I gotta put my mom right. I gotta make my mama proud. I gotta make my mama proud that she has me for a son. So I do not care, I'm not crying, I'm just screaming. I'm screaming because it hurts, he's poking me. So at that point, my friends and the neighbors, the kids that I was there in the circle, like watching us fight, making sure that no one jumped in, they separated us and they grabbed the stick and they threw it on the floor and my mom sees it. So And my mom goes up to the kid with the stick in her hand and she goes, you, you, and all in Spanish, she said a whole bunch of things like, this is what you fight with, you, this is what you fight with. The kid started crying because he felt embarrassed and obviously screaming, getting screamed from an adult as my mom at this point. Um, you were gonna feel embarrassed. So he ran home crying. That was that, that fight, the end of that fight. He left crying, never saw this kid ever again. And I go into the house, my mom yelling at me. I don't even know why you yelling at me, mom. Hey, what was the reason? What was the reason? Like, come on, you clearly saw that fight that he had a stick in his hand and you're yelling at me. Why are you yelling at me? You're supposed to be having my back. So we all go in. My brother is crying. Because he saw me get stabbed up, baby. I didn't get beat up. I got stabbed up. He started stabbing me with that stick. So I go inside and my mom says, look at me, look at me. She grabs my face very hard. Like, they, like she's mad. So they, here, ponte, ponte vex, ponte vex. But I start to have, I have scratches from the stick. Not right now, but at the time I had scratches of the stick all right here. Because he was trying to stab me with the stick. I was like, he was doing one of these. He was like, Arr! Like, oh my god, I was like not with it. My eyes pitch red, so that fight ended. And honestly, with that fight, I, I learned the lesson with that fight. My mom taught me this lesson. Thank you, mom, for teaching me this. She told me, if you ever have yourself in this situation again, that you're fighting someone that has a weapon and no one is there to help you, she said, use whatever you can to fight. Whether it's a rock on the floor, a glass on the floor, a glass bottle on the floor, a can on the floor, anything, a stick. You're, you're gonna fight, Anthony. Just keep fighting and defend yourself. Because there's people in this world that don't fight with just their hands. They don't fight with just their hands. They don't. And I learned that that day. I learned that people don't just fight with their hands anymore at that time. And I'm a, I'm a young kid at this time. I'm not really young, young, but I'm learning, you know? And that experience taught me that. I had to be careful with it. I gotta pick my battles. I don't know who's who has what in their hand or in their pocket. That lesson that my mom taught me, it, I carry with me to this day. And I learned from that fight that there's people in this world who really just don't fight with their hands. They fight with anything they can. A knife, guns, weapons, they don't care. And that was one of the best lessons I ever took from a fight, ever in my life. After that experience of that fight, two weeks later, I find myself inside another fight. Yes. Another fight, Anthony? What is wrong with you? Oh my god. I'm telling you right now, I used to get picked on in school, so I the only way I had I had to do what I had to do. There was my I had counselors talk to me about my anger, but it was because I was getting picked on. And my mom always told me, There's a limit to everything. Don't stay getting picked on. So I was like, bet I won't. So during this time in school um we were there was we had to stay in a line and we were walking down the hallway and i started tying my shoe so i had to, i ended up going to the back of the line and the kid in front of me never liked me we always had problems with each other always always in school i can't remember his name honestly i'm sorry um so we fought in recess we fought in the lunchroom we fought we yelled at we argued phys like verbally arguments and i think it was because i was very fa i was always feminine in my life always feminine you can tell by the way i talked i always had a high pitch of voice i always walked weird um i always had a badonk and donk i went to the back of the line and then i had to sneeze so i do a choo and he turns around and he was like don't sneeze on me Ta! punches me turns back around and starts walking and i go oh hell no the teacher at that time she saw me then yelled stop oh my god i jump on this kid i'm how are you gonna punch someone then turn around like nothing ever happened so I go and I literally, I start swinging at the back of his head. Not like that, but I'm jabbing him, like making sure his head hits the wall. I'm over here like, da, 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 da. So I'm hitting him, boom, 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 boom. And then the teacher comes and picks me up 
and then the, uh, my my the main my main classroom teacher grabs him and brings him and yells for the officers. The security guards come running, literally to us. Carries him away because he's going crazy. Like I understand, like I will go crazy too. Someone's hitting me by the head, and I'm hitting my head is hitting the wall like a couple times. So, bro, I did not care, and I went in. So the teacher that carried me, I don't know, she had, she must have had a lot of adrenaline because I, I was going ham. I was slamming desk. I was throwing chairs. I was like, no! I was swearing, just hitting stuff. And she was like, oh, we're gonna have to call your mom. Your mom is coming to help to talk to you. And so I go, I calm down eventually. And they sent me to the principal's office after he got sent home. And they told my mom everything that happened. They literally went back into the cameras and it shows that he came, turned around, punched me in my face and then turned back around. And then I went, I went wild, period. Ask as if we were in the same classroom. No, we weren't. After that, they switched his homeroom to the next door because they know mm -mm, this kid, uh, he's reckless. And they knew that me and him did not like each other at all. And we actually fought again in recess a year after that. Nobody stopped that fight. I actually like that fight a lot. Because that's when I was straight. I kissed a girl. And that was his friend's sister. And she, he got mad. So he told him to fight me again. Yeah. Uh-uh. I got him down to the floor and I kicked him in his chest. I was like, bah! And I walked away. I got lunch detention for a week. <laughs> but that's it. That's it. If you guys ever find yourself in the predicament of dealing with a bully, um, my first advice before you ever go physical with a bully, get seek help from your guidance counselor. Seek help from your teachers. Seek help from your mother, your father, uh, someone older that you trust. Seek help from a principal, a security guard, whoever is an adult that you trust. Seek the help because bullies are gonna be bullies and if you there's, there's always a good way of handling a buddy and there's always having to take matters into your own hands so guys this was it for the video let me know if you guys like this leave a like comment subscribe share this with your friends so they can make fun of me getting beat up a few times and getting abused um yeah mm, i almost got my eye stabbed out oh my God. Um, obviously, if you guys like me and you guys want to see more of me, I would very, very much appreciate it if you guys give this video likes, you know, ding, give it likes. Um, I would love it as well and I would respond to all your comments and I will also care for a share and I would love for you guys to join my family. Come subscribe, baby. Have an amazing day, guys. Love you.